win slash lose, this is the amount of games I lost. And it's rather embarrassing. As a pro pig, I think I sh should have lost less games than this, but you live and you learn. Everyone, try to guess the game number. A everyone, try to guess the amount of games I've lost in 100 games where I win or lose. Go. Very important. Uh, and my tip to you is, it is way too high. Eight. Eight, okay. We got an eight in the chat. 84 with slash 20. Okay, we got 80 slash 20 in the chat. Nice. What we guessing, sorry. Win rate slash loss rate. How many games do you think I lost out of 100 games? And my tip to you is, it is way too high. 20. 20, okay. Ka Cal's sticking to 20. Gamer Fiend said 20. Wait, 8? Oh no, Gamer Fiend said 8 losses. So that's 92. What do we count as a loss? Uh, 1k. Go uh, 1 kill or no kill. Big forehead means big brain. No, I specifically said it's too 31. high. Then 11. E 11? 31? <laughs> Coming out with the 31. Right, win slash loss rate. 31 for loss rate. Interesting. And then Cal with the 11. 31, that is 69. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, if I had a 69% win rate, that close to 50, I probably wouldn't even talk about it. I'd probably just try again. <laughs> Alright, sh should I should I stop beating the dead horse? Should I reveal the answer to you? Out of a win slash loss rate, in 100 games, the amount of games I lost is... Drum roll. More like beating a dead pig, am I right? That is correct. Beating Maurice. Beating Maurice. It is... Drum tap! Boom! <laughs> 31! <laughs> <laughs> it was way too high, you fucking dick. <laughs> I was the closest. VIP me. Yeah, no. Okay, so the video you just saw of me laughing like a maniac is because I recently finally reached a hundred games of pig where I calculated my win slash loss rate and it's looking like it was 99 to 1, which means I have in 100 wins, or 99 wins if you prefer, we went to 100, uh, I have only lost one game in between. I'd like to discuss this a little bit with you. So the way this works is, is that I start playing at zero and I set certain rules for myself. I start, you know, starting to consider what a loss actually is. And then when we reach 100, I calculate it to see wins compared to loss. The funny thing about this is, is that I have indeed only lost one pig game, a pig game I have saved, and I am planning to show you in the future. Now, the reason I'm saying all this is because I actually want to talk about my experience of how that happened. Like I said, every time I went to a map, I'd make a note that I went to that map, and I'd make a note whether the game resulted in a 4k, a 3k, a 2k, or 1k. A 3k to 4k is a win, and anything below a 2k is a loss, and we count the ties in between, and I start again if the ties start to get a little too high. For example, if we reached 100, uh, you know, uh, if we reached 100 games, and the majority of the games were 2ks, or even like 20 games were 2ks, I probably wouldn't have bothered making the video, because I feel like that's a little too high. But for the sake of experiment and consistency, we considered 2k a tie here, and it did not go high at all. Now, I actually would like to discuss, because I already know there's people in the comments saying, Oh, but you just went into public lobbies, and you destroyed Nicolas Cage's going for the adepts, and that is when I'm here to tell you that I counted not only every time I went to a map, but every time in that 100 games I actually went to that map to begin with. So, the most played maps I played on were probably the most killer-sided maps. Bad Ham, the mo <laughs> Obviously, for anyone who's a noob, this is sarcasm. These maps are incredibly survivor-sided. Badham, which I played on nine times, and Gideon, which I played on eight times. That is 15 times on some of the most survivor-sided maps. And on Badham, I 2k'd once 
out of that nine times. The maps my pig played in and won the most was on Gideon and Badham. So there you go. There goes your pub stomping argument. Oh, and if you, in case you're wondering why Gideon was so frequent, uh, despite not having five different variations, it's because survivors kept bringing map offerings. Which leads me into the rules of what I set myself. Rule number one is no map offerings. The reason I set myself a rule of no map offerings is because I just want to say, as a little flex here, I have not lost on Midwitch as Pig ever since March. And I can currently win on that map with two perks consistently. So I didn't allow myself to bring map offerings because otherwise, as someone who has 90 Midwitch offerings on Pig, I would have just brought Midwitch every time and would have probably have just made it 100%. So I felt like that was cheating a little bit, despite the fact survivors were allowed to bring map offerings. So I didn't give myself a benefit of a doubt. I just went in, no map offerings, and I only got Midwitch once. And I was forced to play on Gideon and Badham a total of 15 times. For the sake of making this a shorter video, I'm going to move on. Rule number two is only one build. I'm only allowed to run one build, and this is because I plan to make a guide for what I consider to be one of the best, if not the best, build on Pig. And obviously, in order to make such a claim, you would obviously have to have some sort of statistic to back that up with. And I'm glad to say that I think a 99 to 1 win to loss rate is not a bold claim to make that the build is very good. So the third rule is, as a bit of, you know, a fuck you dross, is don't count games with ultra rare add-ons. The reason I say this is because with Amanda's letter, I would feel more inclined to bring map offerings, and I feel like I'm good enough as Pig that on RPD and on Midwitch I can win, even with only having two traps. Let alone three I could bring if I bring extra trap add-ons. So again, it just kind of muddles the results, and I'm not interested. Videotape has a separate problem. I do not want to be rewarded for head pops I didn't make. So any build that isn't my build, and any add-ons that are ultra rare, are not counted. Even if I win them. Now, I know you're probably all thinking, what was the one game you lost? Well, if you look at the screen in front of you, I actually tweeted about this, and it actually did really popular. 2,000 views. I look forward to showing you that video later. And this is where we get into the segment of the video as to why I'm making this video to begin with. One is to, you know, prove my skill with Pig. And the second reason is because I have videos planned to showcase my 99 to 1 win slash loss rate. Some of the more memorable games, including one where I broke my mouse and had to win anyway. And of course, the game I lost. And then after that, I plan to make an actual build, guys, uh, onto the build I used and why it's one of the best builds on Pig. And I kind of have to get a move on because that build might get nerfed at some point. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. This has been Dross and Bubba. If you have any pig questions upon my win slash loss rate and any inquiries about the character herself, the pig, such as like build ideas or gameplay reviews, do come over to twitch.tv slash Dross and Bubba where I stream as much as possible. Uh, I will be on holiday tomorrow in the description. We'll say what on days I'm not streaming. But on every other day, it's fair game. So do feel free to come on over. The Discord is always active and I try to always be in it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to my community for pushing me to this achievement. And I don't mean to call out anyone here in specific, and I don't mean to big myself up here too much, but I do want to say one thing, and that is, I see a lot of content creators claim they have a 9 to 1 win slash loss rate on the killers they main, and then when you actually watch their VODs, it's all bullshit. I'd like to say that I actually streamed mine, and I've proved mine, and I encourage other content creators to maybe do the same. Just a thought. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. 100 games, 99 wins, 1 loss. Thank you for watching.